This is Miguel Colombo bringing you the daily headlines from www.maryjanecolombo.com. Here's the front page of the New York Times, Tuesday, November 8, 2011. There's a story about big banks, securities firms, and investment advisors. Uh, can you tell the difference? who, having been instructed by the courts and regulators to commit no further violations, go ahead and do it again and again. And what happens to them? Well, the SEC has not brought any contempt charges in over 10 years. We all know what happens to the rest of us when we disobey the judge. So who are these guys anyway? Here's what I think should happen to them. Cuban medical teams are treating the cholera epidemic in Haiti. Cuban doctors are well known and respected throughout Latin America and in fact treated our best buddy Hugo Chavez of Venezuela. The communist threat from Cuba is ancient history. What we have now is xenophobia and racism. It's high time we reestablished normal relations with our close neighbor and started allowing their dark-skinned Spanish-speaking citizens to visit the U.S. of A. Turmoil and crisis in Europe. What do we have here at home? Earthquakes in Oklahoma. Hmm, there's a new one. Here we go again. These guys versus these guys. Herman, go have a pizza. Still waiting for electricity in Connecticut. Republicans want to ruin the environment. Here's a gentleman who suggests that bankers should not get bonuses. He says, financiers and their lawyers will always stay one step ahead of the regulators, and that all pay at systemically important financial institutions should be strictly regulated. Try getting that one past the Republicans. Wall Street pay cuts. Yeah, right. According to Forbes, the current pay rate is between 100000 and a million, plus bonuses. You do the math. No graphic warnings on cigarette packages. Sony Music. Tablet Wars. More crap. Walmart cashes your paycheck for three bucks. Chosen Flyers zip through airport security. 3M is slapped on the wrist. This is Miguel Colombo signing off from www.maryjanecolombo.com.